you like to try some? Um, all right. The goat shed or the dairy is where I'd rather be. <sighs> goat cheese, how does that normally sell? The goat is a little bit of a marmite thing in that some people will not touch goat's cheese. But if you like goat's cheese, that's a great one. Gillian has a seemingly high profit margin as she charges a hefty £6 per 100 grams. Her main cost is keeping her goats, but it's time that Gillian invests alongside her day job. Come on. I make about 80 cheeses a week, but it's difficult because of my day job. It's a balance between making as much cheese as I can, but also being able to get to bed at night. <laughs> A few shops local to her in West Yorkshire stock her cheese. It's absolutely a handmade cheese from start to finish. It's got the minimum ingredients in it necessary. That's what makes it special. Right then, girls, we're going out. It would be nice to win because I would like to grow the business and to eventually give up the day job. Hello, Gillian. Hello. Nisha went to assess her chance of that and watch her work. These are your milk goats, are they? So these are the female kids that were born this year. Gillian milks her goats twice a day. So how long does it take you to milk them all? It takes about an hour. Before heading to her own bespoke dairy in her cellar. I've never been anywhere so clean in my life. <laughs> so we can get you into white coat and hat and things uh, like that. At the very least, hose yes. me down, Gillian. <laughs> Gillian is a bit of a purist. She doesn't pasteurise her milk before adding starter culture. What in it? A cocktail of lactic acid producing bacteria and the acidification will produce the curd. After 12 hours, she adds the rennet. You need to give the curd and the cheese the right environment for the natural bacteria to express themselves and if you do that, you'll get the build-up of flavour. Once the curds have separated from the whey, they're drained in moulds for two days before being salted, turned out and left for another two days. During that period, you'll start to see the rind blooming on the surface of the cheese. So they'll be ready to go into the maturing fridge to help that development of the rind. The whole process takes 11 days. Would you like to take on staff to help you? I'm quite um, cautious. If you want to make a consistent product, you need to do it in a methodical and consistent way.